Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Jonathan Glazer here, and uh, I've been um, focusing a little bit more on CPA the past couple weeks. Um, so I wanted to share with you uh, a little technique that I found that's going to help you find exact keywords to use, which is going to help you um, narrow your target audience down and uh, you know find people that are searching for exactly what you have. So what I'm doing um, is I'm focusing on surveys. So um, this is the site that I'm driving my customers to. Um, so they're going to come here and they're going to go through and uh, they're going to have uh, you know, multiple options. Um, so uh, that's one thing uh, you need to be focusing on is uh, you know setting up a, a, a site that you can promote multiple offers off of. Uh, that's how the you know the, the big dogs out there are doing it that's how you're seeing uh, so many people banking you know thousand dollar days and stuff like that is they have multiple sites like this so um, I'll do a future video on that in early, earlier or later because um, this site literally took me about 25 minutes or so to make so just under half an hour so I'll show you how I did that um, but I want to focus on the keywords right now so what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to keyword planner uh, which is um, Google AdWords. So if you have a Google AdWords account, um, you need to go get one. I mean, if you don't have one, you need to go get one. If you do, just go to your Google AdWords account, come up to Tools, and uh, go to Keyword Planner, and it'll bring you to this site. So what I'm doing is I'm typing in um, survey survey sites. Yeah cash something like that something that you you would uh, you would think that your um, ideal cust audience would uh, type in to you know try and earn some money online and you want to be specific lots of people you know make money online is a good one but you, know, you really want to just kind of narrow narrow it down and focus on people that are looking for survey sites it increases your chances of um, uh, conversions and you want it to, you want it to be like that in any niche it doesn't just have to be survey so if you're doing health um, you know just kind of focus on the problem that people are having that fits your um, your product or your site that you have and uh, you go from there so then you're gonna click get ideas and now you have um, you have some uh, keywords to play with here so that's actually pretty good uh, you can go with that now what, what you're going to do with that is you're going to um, click the ones that you like now I tend to do low um, but you can also do high as well here so you know I would say you can click that one that's a really good uh, keyword that people are going to type in so you'll click that um, you know paid surveys you can do that I would say Depending on your budget, pick 10 good ones that are between 1K and 100K in search for the search title. So that would be, you know, this one, uh, this one, this one. So pretty much all these. You're just going to come over here. You're going to click, 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 and then click. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, and then you're just going to simply uh, highlight it, copy it, and then uh, that's what you're going to use for um, for your your Bing ads that you're going to set up. So um, so that'll be up here. Um, before I do that, I want to show you the actual uh, tool that I'm using to track the keywords. That is um, Click Magic. So simply, you're going to create a link, and then uh, you're going to type in um the name of your campaign so just say survey we'll just say survey demo uh, just to keep it moving and then you're gonna find the uh you're gonna find the um tracking link you want to use type in your identifying link here and we'll just say demo and if you're not on clip magic uh i'm gonna leave the link below so you can get on it it's Free for 14 days I believe and then if you need help with anything um, every single 
part up here has um, every single link up here has tutorial videos and explains everything. So I'm I'm just gonna show you the basics of how I set it up, um, and then I'll put my link in here. It might not let me do it, but we'll see. And then create link. Okay, so now I have my link set up. So what's going to happen is I'm going to I'm going to come here. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do, do track conversion, and I want to do action. So I'm going to I'm going to highlight that. This is how I'm going to be able to track my keywords and find the exact keywords. Uh, so then I'm going to go up to um, survey demo again. And I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to advanced settings. And then I want to come all the way down to where it says pixel code. I'm going to click it in there. And then uh, I'm going to click save changes. So now we're all set up there. Next thing you want to do is um, click preview. And then we're going to just make sure that it works. Looks like it's working. Perfect. So then we'll go and we'll, we'll create our ad. So um, here is the campaign I just set up uh, a couple hours ago to run this. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick example of the ad I set up. I'm going to show you how I actually um, set up the keywords. I mean, set up the link to uh, track my keywords. And then I'll show you how to find those keywords. So. Um, here's here's kind of what I what I set up uh, to um, for my ads, and then here's here's kind of what it looks like. I, I'm using a um, advanced tech text uh, ad or text extension, which means I can I can write something here and I can write something here. But here's what I really want to show you is how I'm tracking my keywords. So. Uh, I'm using uh, Bing token, so I'm using keyword, ad ID, and query string. So that's going to tell me the keywords that people are um, searching. It's going to tell me the ad that people are clicking on that's attracting people. And that's going to tell me the query string. And this is the most important one, is the query string. So I'm going to bring bring up a uh, key, keypad here. I'm going to type in the tokens that uh, you need to be using. And I'm going to show you how they work. So um, those three are the ones you're going to need, and you're going to make sure that there's a slash um, right here. Otherwise, it won't it won't work, and it's going to be very frustrating. So after you have your ad set up, and all I really do is I go to Bing.com and I type in um, I type in the subject that I'm trying or the um the keyword that I'm trying to research so say uh, paid online surveys is what I'm trying to research so now I have a few ads here that uh, I can use as templates so I'll just go through and I'll use the ones that I like and I'll switch them up and I'll put them in my own words so that's pretty much what I did here as you can see so once we got that set up we'll go here we'll go to save Next, we're going to go to um, our keywords, and that's where this comes in. So every single keyword here that uh, you researched and you clicked over to here, you're just going to simply copy and paste those, and you're going to add those over to here. And um, I actually already added some, but I'm going to add these two just for the heck of it. Um, Because it never hurts to have, um, you know, keywords to research. Again, I realize I said 10, so um, I actually have, will have more than 10. But if you're just starting Bing ads, I, I recommend you just do, um, you know, 10 to start with. Uh, it, I guess it depends on your budget, but um, you know, if you're just starting, I would say five dollars a day. Focus on 10 keywords. Find the ones that are that are um, that are winning. Remove the ones that are not getting as many searches and then you can add more as you go so and that's just the basics I'm just kind of showing you the basics um, 
So once you get that, what you're going to do is you want to change everything to phrase. So you're going to come down here. Um, And you're just going to go to every everything that's broad. You want to turn to phrase, and then you're going to click save, and that's done. So you're also going to want to run your um your, your bids from 30 to 35, so that uh, ensures that they will be seen and put in front of the, the audience you want. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's the two basics there. Um, if you if you want to learn how to set up a full ad, I'm going to play a video at the end or you can actually click the link below I'm gonna sh I'm gonna um I have a site that just came or a course that just came out that you're gonna get tons of value from, from my buddy who's uh, been crushing it being as an ape in Facebook ads lately and uh, he's he's made over 100k in the last seven months and he's finally sharing that um, method with with, uh, with you guys so feel free to click that link if you want to learn more I'm just showing you um, some basics here so finally, here's how we're going to find um, the exact keywords to use to uh, narrow in on your target audience and get more conversions. So um, I set up query string, and that's what that's what's going to show you the exact keywords. So let's let's go down to one that uh, I know works. Um, so here's one that I've ran. And this is going to give you an idea of what what keywords to use. So let's see. There we go. All right. So now you can see um, here's the actual phrase keywords that I use, and then this is what people type in. So you can see get paid for surveys. Get paid for surveys is the exact keywords they type in. Get paid to take surveys. Uh, how to earn extra money, free online paid surveys, great survey sites. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring up your little um, notepad here again, and you're going to type all those in. But what you're going to do is you're going to put um, that symbol there, and then type in get paid for surveys, get paid to take surveys. And then you're gonna, you're just gonna copy, or you're just going to type all those ones in. You're just gonna remember to use that, and then you want to make sure that you know they are being used more than once, because that that's going to ensure that people are actually typing in that keyword. So everyone that you see is that has been um, used more than once, been typed in more than once. You're simply just going to to do to do that. You're just gonna put that symbol around both of them and type in the keyword there and once you have them all um, you're, you're going to simply uh, keep that there and you come back to um, your campaign for Bing ads and what you're going to do is you're going to create another group and you're going to create an exact group so you're going to go create ad group and you're going to use the exact ad that you um, so you'll, you'll say exact, and then you're going to use the the ad that uh, is getting the most clicks, which is what the ad ID um ad ID token is for. And you're going to come here. You're going to create that same exact ad here. Use the same keywords. Use the same title. Uh, everything is the same. And then you're going to copy and paste your keywords here, just like that. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's just how you find those exact keywords to um, find laser targeted audience, get more conversions. So I hope you got some value from that. Uh, go out there and implement this. And don't forget to click the um, link in the description below to check out my friend's new course and learn how learn his method that he uh, uses to make 100K in the last seven months. Uh, take care. Subscribe to this channel. And uh, I will talk to you very soon.